Hello, my name is Keen McGrath and I'm a writer for Cork City FC. I'm also one of the Cork City correspondents for Irish Football Fan TV this season. My colleague Jack can't be with me this today, unfortunately, but I'm just going to give a small bit of analysis into uh, Cork City's game with Shelburne last night, from both sides. Obviously, the game ending 1-0 to Shelburne, uh, a late goal from Kieran Kildoff from a corner, rather scrappy goal, uh, matching the rather scrappy affair that was on show. But um, I think there's a number of things to be taken away for both sides. Um, City starting 11, obviously featuring eight new signings. Uh, only three players were there last season, Darrell O'Connor, Gerald Marcy and uh, Ronan Hurley. Um, all three players... Uh, probably expect to take a big step up now in terms of uh, Hurley uh, no longer behind Shane Griffin in terms of the pecking order for left back. Gerard Morrissey given the captain's armband and Darrell Connor given a strong starting role in the number 10 shirt for City. So Neil Fenn clearly has um, entrusted these players with a lot of responsibility and not to say he doesn't have other options in his team but um, it almost seems he's built a team around O'Connor and Morrissey, letting a number of players go, like Conor McCormack, Gary Buckley, Shane Griffin, even Ty Ryan, the goalkeeper who stood out last season, instead replacing him with Liam Boston, former Anderlecht and Nottingham Forest goalkeeper. And uh, in terms of Shelburne, Shelburne, a more settled side, uh, new signings of course, such as uh, City's former City player, Carl Shepard. But um, their standout players last night, really, um, it's hard to pick because... They played so well as a team, it was a really good, cohesive performance from Shelburne, which same could be said of City in aspects, but in other ways, not so much. Um, City's build-up play up until that final ball was excellent, but the final ball was very, too often very poor. It's played into space where no man was running, no man was looking. In terms of standouts for City, the standout players would probably be Joseph Alawu, Henry Oching had a good performance also. And um, Kyron Stabana, who was very lively on the right, um, coming at, overlapping from right back. And I think from last night's game, the most obvious thing to take is a very clear style from Neil Fenn. When on the attack, Cork City were clear that their defensive midfielder last night, the position was played by Ocheing. His role was to sit back alongside the centre halves, allowing more creative freedom from the full backs to overlap. And while City did bombard forward, too often it seemed they seemed hesitant to put the ball in the box. On both wings, O'Connor and McGlade um, cut in perhaps one or two too many times, attempting to beat the man rather than put the ball into the box. And in friendly games that can be okay and in, against certain opposition, but against Shelburne last night it was just too easy for them. And the final ball from the cross was was too slow and lacked quality a lot of the time. Uh, up front, Rayon Dillon, positive performance from the new man um, coming over from England looking very lively but perhaps the wrong kind of ball being played to him. Um, the next fixtures for Cork obviously is an away trip to Shamrock Rovers, an away trip to Dundalk um, and for Shelburne they host Dundalk before travelling to Harps. So tough fixtures for both sides, obviously slightly tougher for City with um, away trips to last year's champions and second place and FA Cup champions uh, Shamrock Rovers. And uh, Shamrock Rovers also on a high after beating their local rivals Bowes with a late goal earlier on today. And um, for Shells it really is an ideal start. Any City fan knew that last night was a must-win game really because it would be hard to see us getting more than... We'd be very lucky to take a point out of the next two games if you're being realistic. But speaking to Alan Bennett after the game last night, he spoke about how not only do the fans need to have patience but also um, Neil Fenn and Alan and the rest of the management team that it's a young side, it's a big project on him at the moment and that I think there is patience amongst the fans. Uh, fans remained on side, it seemed, throughout most of the game last night. And um, I think a lot of positives to be had. Um, from a Shelburne perspective, they looked very solid, very cohesive, very compact, very structured. And I think that will lend well to the Premier Division in certain games, such as, you know, there's sides in the division like Sligo and St. Pat's who've been here for long enough playing that sort of style. And even Cork City under Caulfield, this sort of disciplined game really does lend well to Premier Division football. Um, Carl Shepard last night given a, a lot of um, choice words by the City fans. Um, we'll leave it at that, but played quite well. He, um, in and out of the game, kind of buzzing around, but when it mattered, he was on the ball and he was he made himself known and he showed his, his talent. Um, I'm not too sure too many City fans will miss him this season. Disappointing performance last season and a serious lack of goals, but Last night he did play very well. Uh, after the game he spoke very specifically about the state of the pitch and that the pitch in turn's cross was very poor. Hopefully that's something that can be addressed by Cork City's ground staff or the Board of Management or the Munster Football Association um, as hopefully the pitch is not a hindrance to Neil Fenn's style. But overall I think lots of positive taken for Cork City fans obviously no points but 
I think the main thing is keeping everyone on site for Cork City because if fans start to drift, that'll be the problem. Last night, 4,000 people came to watch Cork City, um, a huge crowd in comparison to some of the attendances um, during last season, during uh, the end of John Cotter's time as manager and even leading into Fenn's time. But there seems to be a renewed positivity across the city for Cork and hopefully we can see more supporters out. Um, that's all for me, just a quick analysis. Thanks for checking us out. My name's Kean. I'm at John Kean McGrath on Twitter. And um, keep an eye on all of our social media for League of Ireland and national team news. Thank you very much.